right to chase here because Buster Live is now no longer a commentary YouTuber. All right, brief announcement. I recently unlisted all my videos and they will probably stay that way indefinitely. I will either be rebranding this channel or making a new one entirely at some point in the future. I'm not entirely sure yet. The only thing I do know for sure is that I have outgrown the basic commentary formula. XYZ talk about X popular creator, give Y lukewarm take and get C amount of views. Yes, I made this up myself, lol. I am a completely different person now than I was when I started this channel. I have different interests and aspirations at this point and sitting behind a microphone giving my opinion on some boring topic about Hassan Piker just because I know it will get 2k plus views has become increasingly hollow and monotonous. It's cool when my videos do well, but there's no longevity in that. Just short term dopamine hits for me and my audience. It might sound game cringe, but I kind of want to have more of an impact than that. Anyways, thanks to those I love for sticking around for the filler arc. Now recently, Buster Live has been tweeting out some very serious and obvious clues in the past couple of months, uh, weeks I should say. And I want to go backwards in time, starting with this tweet. After this Wilbur's suit stuff and perhaps stirring, I'm back in action. No excuses. And before that, he tweeted this on February 25th. I don't think I like making commentary videos anymore. And then before February 25th comes three days earlier, which says, Bro, I literally just returned to YouTube with high energy, ready to roll my sleeves up and talk about various dramas taking place and then the main trending topic became Bosch and Horsecock. Like y'all are fucking weird and this is why I keep leaving. About one month and six days earlier, I must start putting way more effort into my content and the channel overall after this next vid as I am slacking bro. Now the reason I wanted to bring these clues up is because a few commentary YouTubers uh, made these tweets as to why Buster Life was leaving the commentary community, which says, commentator Buster Live has made a community tab stating that he's quitting commentary and possibly moving channels after privating all of his videos. He said that the reason for this is that he's outgrown this genre of content and wants to have a more of an impact. People think he's he's lying due to him removing all of his videos days after being called out for quote tweeting gore and his reaction to criticism around it. Both could be true with that situation possibly being the final thing that made Buster decide to leave. Thoughts? Seems Buster Live is not returning to the commentary community, he strangely left out him quote tweeting gore twice and doubling down by calling people snowflakes who didn't want to see gore. Just in case you miss it, here is my second channel video on it. Well, if anyone knows Buster Live for a long time, is that he would have like leave the commentary community and then come back, which happened before. And that ultimately was last year. This is today, and I actually don't think he's ever planning on coming back, ever. What's your plan for the new brand, dog? I haven't quite decided yet, honestly. I struggle with whether or not content is in the right path for me at this specific point in my life, if that makes any sense. One day for sure. But I think a lot of people make the mistake of building a brand around anything other than themselves because that's just easier when they could spend time developing themselves into someone worth being followed for simply being, well, themselves. But people typically do the former and then complain about burnout and it's like, what did you expect? 
that the same topic will remain equally engaging to you five years as it did when you were initially passionate enough to make a whole YouTube channel surrounding that one particular theme in the first place? Of course not. People grow, and they also change. Rapidly. I don't know. Too much Adderall, not enough sleep. And you made me think, LMAO. And it's prescribed Adderall. Look, it's probably very true that people in the YouTube community talk about the same topic for a while and then they get burned out. But I do think that people build themselves online. And that is because some creators really do show their personality online when they buy a webcam. And let's be brutally honest here. A webcam is expensive, and so are laptops and computers. They are hella expensive these days. And besides, I have built myself for years on this website. I just have not had the time to personally talk about myself a lot. And it is something that I am planning to do eventually in the near future, whenever that comes. But yeah, people do grow and change over time. That's why I'm going on a different path of commentary for the time being and talk about my favorite snacks or foods that I like. Because every commentary YouTuber in the past that says, oh, the YouTube drama stuff is just getting too boring, so I'm quitting commentary for good, are not able to branch out and talk about anything else that's out of the ordinary because they are too afraid to do so. That's why I've been able to talk about anything else other than just internet drama all the time. I think that's why Buster Life has to leave the commentary genre, genre because he's not able to branch out and literally talk about anything else. That's why he thinks that people are only here on the internet to subscribe to someone's channel to, you know, listen to what is happening on the internet. And that's mainly the biggest mistake you could ever make when you do this. And as someone who literally has talked about anything other than internet drama all the time, I am pretty sure that if you really wanted the dopamine for you and the people that watch your channel, then you need to stop slacking and just make the videos that you want to make. And stop worrying about what other people do when it comes to talking about, when it comes to them talking about somebody on this platform. I mean, if people wanted to talk about Vosh, they can. No matter how truthful or dishonest they are, they can talk about it. Like, you can't just fucking expect this community to not talk about people who did porn shit or who most likely leaked their folders. That's why you have to focus on yourself and stop worrying about whatever commentary YouTubers are doing online. And that's the only reason why you made the mistake of doing so. That's why former commentary YouTubers like you, Buster Live, have to leave the commentary genre. So, I wish you well in your next chapter, Buster. I hope that whatever you decide to do on your YouTube channel works for you. I kind of do hope that you start uploading on this channel again because you already had this many subscribers in the first place and I don't think starting over with a new channel is going to be ideal unless you can convince 2.4k subscribers to come to your new channel. But if I was you, I'd rather keep the current channel that I have instead of just making a new YouTube channel account to start over. But 
ultimately, whatever you do, you decide to do, I'll support it, I guess. But my only concern is, is that if you're still going to be doing the Bust Your Life OTC. Because that segment you did already started to grow on me, and I was just wondering if you are going to still per pursue with that. If not, then that's fine. I just hope that you upload again on your channel. Thank you.